Now let's define several keyboard shortcuts that are going to speed up our work with the file explorer. So the first keyboard shortcut will be used to collapse all folders that are currently open in file explorer. So for example, if I'm going to open up any file, as we can see in the file explorer, that file is focused. But if I'm going to press command and backslash now, as we can see, all the folders in File Explorer were collapsed. And just like we can collapse all the folders, we can also reveal currently open file in the Explorer. For this, I'm going to use Alt backslash, and this command is called show active file in Explorer. And now let's try it out. So now all folders in the File Explorer are collapsed, but if I would like to reveal the currently open file in the Explorer, I just need to press Alt and backslash. As we can see, currently open file receives focus. And if I need to collapse all folders again, I'm gonna press common backslash, like so. Let's move on and register the next keyboard shortcut. This shortcut is going to be used to create new files. In the File Explorer, I'm going to bind the command to create new file to keyboard shortcut command plus n and in this case we will also specify additional condition so that this keyboard shortcut will only take effect when file explorer has focus so first of all in order to create new file through the file explorer we have to focus file explorer so now if i need to create new file all i have to do is press command n and then type in file name and press enter and the new file will be created. And in order to remove files through the file explorer, we can use the following keyboard shortcut, command backspace. This is a default keyboard shortcut. Let's also register new shortcut that is going to be used to create folders. I'm going to use shift command n. The common name is new folder and the condition will remain the same. So now, again, let's focus on the file explorer, and we can do it by pressing Command H. This is the keyboard shortcuts we have defined in one of the previous lessons. And then when I need to create new folder, I just press Command Shift N and type in folder name, like this. And just like we can remove files, we can also remove folders by pressing Common backspace. And lastly, let's register one more keyboard shortcut, which will be used to activate File Explorer, because there might be such cases when sidebar will show a different panel, for example the panel of the global search, or version control panel. And to activate File Explorer in the sidebar, I'm going to use Command E. So now, if I'm gonna open up global search by pressing Command Shift F, and then I need to activate File Explorer panel. I'm going to press Command E, and as we can see, File Explorer appears. And by the way, to hide sidebar, we can use default keyboard shortcut, which is Command B. And besides activating File Explorer when the sidebar is open, we can also use keyboard shortcut Command E to open up File Explorer when sidebar is closed, like so. So in this lesson we have registered several keyboard shortcuts to speed up our work with the file explorer, and in the next lesson we're going to define another set of keyboard shortcuts. The link to the repository with this configuration file will be in the video description.